I'm Jeremy Parsons, and I'm a world-leading culinary mixologist. Definitely the cocktail culture across China is raging, and it's not gonna slow down. Um, really, really inventive flavor profiles and mixing and great concepts certainly is gonna have a major influence across the globe. Beijing, Shanghai, and so many of the other cities have a ton going on. I think it's important not to forget about the great hotel lounges. I think that's a real re-emergence of upping the bar with great cocktail culture, like champagne cocktails over at the Fairmont. Really, definitely great spots to hang out. My name is Kevin Mao. I'm the assistant ala manager for the cut restaurant at the Champagne Bar at the Fairmont, Beijing. It's a very nice little space for the guests who want to have a conversation, enjoy very nice cocktails or wine or champagne as they wish. I think the cocktail scene in Beijing is very interesting. It, uh, the customers definitely starting to develop their uh, cocktail preference or their uh, favorite bars. But I think what uh, is more interesting is the hotels are stepping out our games. Manhattans are so popular in China right now, so I thought that I would do a nice classic twist on a Manhattan using some Bing cherry juice and some other amazing ingredients. So in a shaker half full of ice, I'm gonna add in some amazing Jack Daniels single barrel whiskey. This stuff is so smooth and so mixable, your friends are gonna die having these cocktails. Next, I'm gonna add in a splash of sweet vermouth and classic bitters, Angostura. Generally, consumers these days really wanna know what they're drinking. They wanna have high-end, interesting ingredients. They're not just looking for just a regular Manhattan or a regular screwdriver. They want something that has a little bit of zap to it. Next, I'm gonna add in some Bing cherry juice. Now, if you're gonna make a great cocktail, you have to use fresh ingredients, which is why I'm only using 100% pure, fresh Bing cherry juice. Gonna add this in. This is gonna add a little bit of sweetness and fruitiness, which is gonna go great with the smoky, mellow flavor of the Jack Daniels Single Barrel. When I serve a unique cocktail and it turns out the customer likes it, it makes my day. That's, at the end of the day, that's the reason why I joined the hospitality industry, to make someone feel home or to make them happy. So I'm gonna add in some fresh orange. So I'm gonna pierce this, which is gonna get all the flavors of the orange. I'm getting a nice little bitterness of the pith, sweetness from the juice, and all those great earthy tones from the essential oils. Just a little bit in there to add some texture. Next, I'm gonna shake it up. Definitely the mixology and cocktail world is very, very competitive. People are really stretching the boundaries of what goes on in a glass and in a shaker. And the bar just keeps on getting moved, whether it's up or down, it's constantly being moved. And I think trying to keep abreast of the new trends and new sort of, you know, flavors and the new products out there is a job in itself. And then learning how to actually use those products, I think is part inspiration and part knowledge. Now, here is an amazing trick that's gonna wow all your friends. A double strain. This is gonna aerate the cocktail and make it so nice and light. You're gonna see, using the fine mesh, you're aerating and it almost looks like it's a carbonated cocktail, but it's not. Got that great fresh head on there. And you're gonna notice it when it starts to crest your palate. Cheers, a perfect Bing Cherry single barrel Manhattan. All the foreigners or the expats that are living in China, they are bringing people to the bars, introduced to them, to the uh, cocktail culture. And that is how lots of people do get introduced to the cocktails. But at the same time, uh, there's influence from the Eastern culture or the Asian cultures where bartenders here develop our own drinks, making uh, different uh, kicks or Asian influence to the cocktails. And it's mixing the cultures together. And, and I think it's fantastic. Definitely, I think, the East flavor profiles have influenced the West. I think that uh, cocktails in general that have, have any sort of an Asian inspiration, they've got a lot more flavor, they've got a lot more zing to it, and there's more depth of character in the glass. So whether that's using fresh herbs, some sweetness, or some hot, it's creating that umami. And that has had the biggest influence on cocktail culture, I think, in the past 10 years. I am going to make you an Asian culture influenced cocktail. I previously made this essentially Chinese version of a syrup made from Chinese peppercorn, a little bit of cinnamon. I add a little bit of Remy VSOP in here. I think it's a very nice combination between the cognac and the Chinese syrup. 
I think it's really interesting that all across China you're getting these great flavors like lychee and dragon fruit and mango and also getting into the chais, chai teas, green teas and then also the spices. Great chili garlic cocktails mixed with mango is an amazing flavor combination. It's all about sort of the interplay, putting together a great balance in a cocktail. And some new freshly sliced ginger. Enjoy. There's nothing better than me putting something new and fresh that somebody's never tasted before and watching their eyes light up as they're like, wow. It's a brand new experience. I think coming to a bar and having the cocktail is luxurious. And the reason why I love Beijing is it's such a dynamic uh, city. The market is booming. You always have people coming, coming and going. And then it does, definitely gives you a feeling of people coming around the world. And then it gives me more experience living here.